Welcome back to Getting Started with Unreal Technology. In this video, we're going to talk to you a bit about actors. But before we really get into any discussion, Logan, what is an actor? Well, really, an actor is any entity that can exist inside of Unreal. That would be all of the placeable things inside of a level, like static meshes. It would also include gameplay items, like players and weapons. And it also includes things used in the editor, like lights and brushes. That's right. In fact, if it's not world geometry, it's some type of actor. Now, you've already taken a look at placing some actors into your level. In fact, if you uh, remember, we were earlier we were placing lights by holding down the L key and clicking on the floor like so, and that creates a light, and a light is a type of actor. You also saw how we could place static meshes, like we could grab a static mesh in the generic browser, and we could uh, right-click on a surface and choose Add Actor, Add Static Mesh, and there you go, and a static mesh is a form of actor, as we can see here. Now, there are other types of actors, too, that you'll also want to be uh, adding into your levels from time to time, or actually most of the time, things like uh, weapons, things like vehicles, things like ammunition and power-ups and pickups, and those are all going to be found within the actor class's browser. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to start by opening up the generic browser, and then we see the actor class's tab up at the top. Just go ahead and click on that. And what you see is the actor class's browser, which is a list of the various actors that can be placed into your level. It's a hierarchical list, all expanding on a class-based system from the original actor class. And we can see uh, two different types of listings. We have bold listings and non-bold listings. Bold listings are actually objects that you can place in your level. Like a camera actor, we can put that in our level. An emitter, we can add to our level. But a component test actor base, we can't really add to the level. In most cases, these are going to be uh, some sort of category that you can expand to create some other type of actor buried beneath it. For example, you can see the light entry here, and if we uh, click on it, we can't really place that into the level. It's not bold, which tells us it's not placeable, but if we expand that, we see directional light, point light, skylight, and spotlight, four different types of placeable actors. Now, in this particular case, each one of these can further be expanded. So under point light, for instance, we see point light movable and point light toggleable, which is a light that can be moved or a light that can be toggled on and off. You could place any of the above. So you could have uh, just your basic light, and this is actually what we've been adding to our levels thus far, which is your basic point light, or you could bring in a, a movable point light or a toggleable point light. So what other types of actors can you create? Because we've already really seen lights. Uh, just for example, though, I could maybe select a spotlight. We can right-click on the floor, and you'll notice that we can now see Add Spotlight here. This section of your right-click menu will update based on what you have selected in the actor class's browser. If I click on Skylight, for instance, and right-click back on the floor, you'll see Add Skylight here. So let's take a look at some of the other things you can add. As it turns out, most of the things you'll really want for gameplay purposes are going to be buried within Navigation Point, which in and of itself is not placeable. But if we expand it, we see all sorts of cool, fun stuff that you'll probably want to add at some point. We have path nodes to help control our AI. We have teleporters. And then we have a couple of different uh, expandable categories, such as Pickup Factory and Vehicle Factory. And this is where the fun really begins. Let's expand Pickup Factory, and you'll see UT Pickup Factory. If we expand that, you can see UT Weapon Pickup Factory. So let's select that. Notice it's in bold, so it is placeable. We'll right-click on the floor and choose Add UT Weapon Pickup Factory here, and we get this little base uh, above which some weapon will be hovering when we play the game. Now what we need to do is tell this base what type of weapon we want. So I'm going to double-click on it and open up its properties, and under the UT Weapon Pickup Factory category, you'll find the Weapon Pickup Class property. This is just a simply a, a drop-down from which you can choose the type of weapon you want. So let's grab maybe the Stinger, because I'm a really big fan of that one. We'll go ahead and close that, and you won't see any changes, but when we play the game, there will be a stinger hovering over this that we can pick up, and after a little while, another one will spawn. Right, because the idea here is that this is a pickup base rather than an actual weapon, and that's what makes it more multiplayer friendly, where you have this base spawning a weapon. The weapon gets picked up, but this has a location where it will later respawn. So this is just the base for the weapon. That's right. Now, just pay attention to one critical thing here, and that's in this hierarchical list. You'll notice this whole thing derived from navigation point, and that's important to keep in mind because all of your bots will know where this weapon base is and they will prioritize picking up weapons. All right, so with that, let's go ahead and close up, uh, well, we won't close up UT Pickup Factory just yet. Let's take a look at Item Pickup Factory, which is a subcategory, and inside here we have Ammo, Armor, and Health. Let's just do some of all of the above. So we'll expand Ammo, and we've got the Stinger, so let's add some uh, Stinger Ammo. We'll just select UT Ammo underscore Stinger, right-click and choose Add Here. 
So we have a little base of ammunition there. I'm going to hold down Alt and drag out a copy of that. So we will have a stinger, and we'll have a little bit of ammo sitting right next to it. Let's take a look at some of the other things we can add under our pickups as well. So we'll uh, close up ammo. We can also add armor. Under this, we see helmet, shield belt, thigh pads, and vest. Let's just go ahead and add it all. So we'll right uh, click on the, the helmet, right click here on the floor, and choose add helmet here. We'll move over just a little bit. We'll grab the shield belt, and we'll add that right next to it. Move down a little more. We'll grab the thigh pads. Let's just really power up our character here. And then for our vest as well. So I have all of these different pickups. And you could go in and arrange these and place them wherever you wanted to. This is just for demonstration purposes. Also, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this static mesh. We don't really need that in our level. Um, I'm going to change the placement of these just a little bit. We'll start pushing these out toward the fringes of our little pool of light. That'll actually let us show off something else here in just a minute. That's true. In fact, let's push them outside of our pool of light just for the fun of it. Or right on either way, right on the edge of the work or in the darkness. Let's so say we'll right at the fringe, right in the darkness. They've got that glowing sort of uh, material, so we'll still be able to see them. But this is going to be important here in just a minute, so just remember that Logan said that. So there's our four power-ups. Let's take a look back over in our actor classes browser. We'll re-expand Navigation Point, re-expand Pickup Factory, and UT Pickup Factory. Now, uh, we've already taken a look at ammo and armor. Let's take a look at health pickup factory. So we have health vials, medium health, and super health. Let's do a super health. We're really going to power up our character. So we'll right click, add UT pickup factory super health. If you don't mind, drop down a uh, medium health as well. Cause sure. That super health might be considered like a super power up. It might take a little while to spawn. Okay. Whereas the regular health we can see right off the bat. All right, cool. Well, it's just the more we can show, the better as far as I'm concerned. All right, let's uh, close that up. So we've got ammo, armor, and health. That's all of our different types of items. Now, if we open up UT Power Up Factory, we have all sorts of stuff we can also add. Here are the jump boots. So uh, let's put this actually over in the pool of light. So we'll right-click and add UT Pickup Factory jump boots. Won't worry about anything else. I think that's going to work just fine for now. Underneath this, we have UT Weapon Locker. So we could bring in a weapon locker if we wanted to. We won't because we already have a weapon pickup. So I think with that, we're done with UT Pickup Factory. Let's take a look at some other cool stuff. Like, for example, we have the UT Vehicle Factory. And this is where stuff really gets fun. If we expand that, we have all of the different types of vehicles we can add. And you'll see UT Vehicle Factory Track Turret Base. You can expand that. And you have some uh, turrets that you can add as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in uh, the Scavenger, because that's a really fun vehicle. We'll just right-click here on the floor, add UT Vehicle Factory Scavenger here. This will act as a spawn point. So uh, this vehicle will spawn here. If you were to destroy this one and wait uh, X number of seconds, the vehicle would respawn for us. So I think it's, uh, it's about time that we're just about ready to uh, test these out. Let's close the Actor Classes browser for now, and we'll rebuild our uh, level, because we did add a light in here. And we're going to see an interesting warning set pop up. And there's a lot of them, too. UT Weapon Pickup Factory 2 doesn't have a pickup light near it. Notice we're getting that a lot. A lot of things missing pickup lights. These lighted bases that you see here require a pickup light for gameplay. Now, you can go in and add those yourself. There's actually a pickup light actor, but that's long and tedious. And there's a tool that will do it for you. So if you go under Tools, you can choose Add Pickup Lights. Give it just a second, and there you go. Now we have a little pool of light around each one. Let's go ahead and rebuild our lighting, or rebuild everything one more time. And what's nice is with these pickups on the very fringe of the lit area, you can see really clearly the uh, effect of that pickup light. That's right. Now, uh, let's see, the last few remaining uh, warnings we have are that we don't have any player starts, which is okay, and that we're using the null material, which is fine, too. So we'll close, and with that, let's just right-click here on the floor and choose Play from here. And here's our level. Now, currently, we are viewing this in standard uh, sort of uh, play and editor mode. This is not the actual UT game. So if I try to run over this armor, I don't really get anything, which is, you know, it's kind of teasing me a little bit because I want to try all this stuff out, and we really can't. Now, however, I can walk over to this vehicle, and if I hit E while I'm close to it, we can try out the vehicle, but that's not quite enough for me. So let's go ahead and hit Escape. And what I'm going to do is save this level. We'll go to File... And we'll choose Save Current Level. And whatever you save it as, in this particular case, start with DM hyphen. And that's going to add the uh, deathmatch into this so that when we actually play this in the editor, it will fire up UT and we'll be playing this like a deathmatch map. So we'll call this Actor Test. And now it's saved. So now if I right-click on the floor and choose Play from here, we get a quick loading screen and whoa, we get a, a Hall of Mirrors effect, which is kind of scary. 
I think actually I ended up spawning outside the level. Let's make sure that I actually click right, right here on that the floor. It, that it wasn't like when, uh, when placing some things sometimes. Yeah, there we go. I accidentally spawned down through the floor, and what I was doing there was falling down through the infinite void. So uh, now I have a weapon that I can pick up, and we can pick up some ammunition. I can pick up the jump boots, which, there we go, if I double jump, we fly way up into the air. I have a little health sphere I can pick up. We can grab the vest, the thigh pads. That hasn't spawned in yet, but we can go ahead and get the helmet. So now I'm loaded up. Uh, let's see, let's shoot some stuff. Looking good. And then we can come over here and get into our vehicle. So there's just a quick look at adding some actors into your level. Again, there's all sorts of actors buried within the actor classes browser. And our purpose here is not necessarily to make you a master of all the things in there, but just to give you a clear idea of how you can dig down through the actor classes browser, select something, and then right-click and place it in your level. And that's going to wrap things up for this video.